Hello, everyone. It is Andrew from MAO Magic, and I'm here with the Jawbone Up Move. So this is a, a new one in the up line. So it was uh, introduced uh, December or November November of 2014. So it was, this was released right before, right before the holiday season. I've been sitting on this for a while, and we're finally getting around to getting some of these videos posted. Um, so this is going to be the smaller, cheaper budget activity tracker compared to the Up24 or the uh, newly announced and soon to be released Up3. This is going to do most of the things that they do, but in a much smaller, cheaper package. First thing you'll notice compared to the other ones, it is not an actual fitness like band. It's just a little clip. It can come out of the clip and you can get several different accessories for it. We'll look at them at the end. Um, but it seems to work very well. So if you open it up, you're going to notice you get a battery. You're going to get a battery tool. You're going to get the jawbone and then a clip. Or you're going to get the move and then the clip. So it comes already in the clip. And when you first get it, you're going to have to take it out to install the battery. So that's what we're going to do. And the first time I did this, it was a little bit, a little bit tough. Um, I obviously have the black one here. There's several different colors, several different patterns on the front. The clip is fairly tough. Like I was very surprised. It's a very tough clip, which is good because you're not going to want to lose it for $49. Um, it, the whole clip itself is rubberized, including the, you know, the part on the back. So there's no like weird, creepy stuff on the back of it. It's just, just rubber, the whole thing, except for the move itself, which just pops inside. Um, you get your battery and you get your battery tool, which I did not understand for the longest time because I decided not to read the instructions because I'm a rebel. Um, anyway, so you have to first take the move out of the clip, which is, it's fairly difficult. It took me a little while. It's not like ridiculously difficult, but it was harder than I expected it to be, but that's probably good because I don't want my move falling out of the clip when it's attached to myself. Um, just like the up 24 in the original up, it uses motion X to track. It does not use that on the up three to remove the back. You'll see those little dots, which are super tiny, but you're just going to twist the back. You can use a coin if you happen to lose this battery part, but it was kind of nice. They just threw this in here. So you don't have to look for like a nickel to open this up. Um, but you're just going to twist it counterclockwise, moving that white dot to one dot to the left. Um, we have a standard watch cell battery, the CR2032. Um, this should last you, I believe, about six months before you have to replace it. So this one does not need charged compared to the UP and the UP24. This also will not have the vibration motor like it has in the other fitness bands that Jawbone makes. So this cannot wake you up in the morning. It does not have the smart alarm feature that the others have. Um, it just has the standard fitness tracking, activity tracking, um, and sleep tracking. It does not do as much sleep tracking as the up three, but it does actually give you a feedback light on the front of this compared to the other two. So those LEDs that go around can show you where you are in your progress of the day towards your goal, like percentage wise, like three fourths away, you're 75% towards your goal. So that is easy feedback that you're not getting from the up 24 or the up three. So that is one benefit to this, but you lose stuff like the aesthetics of this clip compared to a nicer like wrist worn fitness tracker and you're also losing the vibration motor and the other one to wake you up as well as on the up three it has all those fancy sensors uh you know galvanic skin response uh, temperature heart rate all that stuff so there are two different apps we're going to use the standard blue up app not the purple one we're going to go into the other one in a second but to add it you just tap on the icon in the top right hand corner you're going to hit add new tracker you're going to choose the up move with this app you can do the up the up 24 or the up move it's pretty simple you just hit oh i have it it uses bluetooth low energy to connect to your phone you press the front of it it lights up pairing these is super simple and it works very good i've never had an issue pairing any up tracker to a phone or at least to an iphone that is i really like how easy it is to pair these just press it once it finds it press again to confirm so it knows which one you picked and that's it, all set. It has nice little videos inside the app if you need to like learn how to use it, but it is very simple, so I don't think you should have too much of an issue. So let's go ahead and look at the two different apps because it can be a little bit confusing. So you're going to notice that in the app store, if you put in Jawbone Up, you're gonna have the two options. 
the one that's blue on the bottom left there and the one that's purple. The purple one is the new one. So the purple app allows you to use the phone as the activity tracker. So no hardware required. You can just use the phone or you can use the up three fitness tracker, which is coming out in early 2015. If you don't have one of those, then you have to use the blue app. So the blue app exclusively uses the up move, the original up band or the up 24. So we can go ahead and look at it. You can see all of your fitness data here. So you can see your active time, your resting time, your total calories burned, your active calories burned, your resting calories burned. You can see your whole week um, below and see how you've done meeting your goal. Obviously I've not done well at the beginning of this week, but no matter. You can scrub along the top to see the time. You can see your activity. So I was super active right around here. And if you tap on that activity, it can say, oh, that was an elliptical or not elliptical, that was a bike. You did one hour of biking moderate. And it can tell you how many calories that burned. So these little cards here can give you uh, tips and useful information. You can share them. It has a lot of really cool stats. I actually really like looking at those every day. Um, so here's your progress. This is basically like your timeline. So not only does it show yours, but it shows your friends that you have and what they're sharing. So my friend Stephanie took 3,300 steps today. Go Stephanie. You can pull it up and you can see everything that she did. Um, and she can do the same thing for you, but all of that can be changed. So say you're monitoring your weight. You don't have to share your weight with them that can show up just on your tracker. So there are very good security settings. If you want to show and don't show certain things to different people or not different people, but in people in general. Uh, you can set your goals for your weight, for your activity, and your sleeping. Uh, you can see the trends of how you're doing over time. So clearly I'm doing much better recently than I had been. Um, team obviously allows you to connect to your friends uh, and compete with each other, which I always like to do. Inside of apps, you can see all the apps that you can connect, such as My Fitness Pal, which allows me to add my food, or Ift, so when I wake up, uh, turn my lights on using Philips Hue, or uh, withings to track my weight so I can use my scale which goes to the withing app and then post it into the up uh, or automatic which pulls in my driving into my app so I can kind of compare oh I was very inactive that day but I was driving for 12 hours so you can kind of see make sense of the actual data that you have and then there's the insight app so there's two different versions or two sortings of the apps that it can uh, combine with and I think they do a great job of that and they keep getting more all the time so always check back and see what else they have if you don't add the food from somewhere like MyFitnessPal, you can do it right here. Um, these were added from MyFitnessPal, but it shows you your score. So this is 3.5, which is not very healthy, probably because the amount of sodium. I'm not sure it was like Jimmy John's. It was like a pickle or something that was just ridiculous on the sodium for the day. So it's like you used way too much and gave me a horrible score of 4.3. Um, you can also scan barcodes um, if you would like to add your food. You can take photos of your food, which makes it look really pretty in the activity feed for yourself or others. Uh, you can also pull up restaurant menus. So it makes it adding food very easy, which was a recent upgrade. You can log your workouts. Um, you can choose from all the activity types that they have chosen, and they do add more, or you can just do other. Once you choose your activity, you can choose your effort level, how hard you did that thing. Um, just by dragging up and down the clock, you can set a duration and the tracker itself can actually do a stopwatch. So in here, uh, we'll get to in a minute, but here's like a stopwatch function. So you can begin or end, and then you can track how long you're actually doing that. You can also track naps as well as your normal sleep at the end of the day. Um, and lastly, from the homepage, you can also easily add your weight. So if you're not using like the Withing scale to sync your weight over, you can just hit the plus button, hit wait and you can log your weight in where it is and it can track you and show you have been doing over time. So if the up has actually been helping you lose weight or if you've been gaining weight. You can also track your mood with this wonderful little emoticon that gets super excited and then dies just by dragging your finger up and down over its face. Um, other than that, I love the up system. I, I think it's one of the best ones out there. The app works fantastic, even if you don't use the hardware, but the move is a great entry level point. Um, it comes in many different colors and styles for whoever you are out there, as well as uh, giving you bands to wear on your wrist uh, if you don't want to just keep it on the clip. Um, I really like it. It's $49. It's pretty much one of the cheapest ones out there that has the most features. If you have any questions at all, throw them up in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I will see you guys all 
next time. <laughs>